Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the next seven days for Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, this is for singles. You're single, you're single, you're single. We're just going to see what's happening the next seven days. Keep in mind that these are not fluffy readings. It's not going to be, who's coming towards you? It's going to be the real deal, because not always is somebody coming towards you. Let's see what comes up. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Next seven days. <clears throat> Looks like you got a decision to make. You do. You have a decision to make about... Where you're going, you know, where are you going? I see a time of introspection, a time of reflection about your future. So I think you're reflecting during this week. You're really reflecting. You may be blocking communication from people. Maybe you're not really wanting to communicate because, you know, you know, you got options and you got to think about it. You got to think about your future. That's what's happening here. I feel like you're being real. No, no illusion here, right? You're being very real. You may be deciding, you know, I'm just going to be by myself right now. Taking care of business. Now the world card is a is a new beginning, okay? It is. It's finishing up, finishing up a cycle in your life. And this is the cycle. So you guys are in the process of finishing up a cycle and reevaluating your future. It's like the decision has been made that this is over, right? And now you're going within to plan. You may be regaining your stability, working on your stability. You're working on your health. You're working on yourself, right? You're working on yourself. It's like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to settle for anything less than I deserve. I'm not. I'm not. I'm beautiful. I'm good. I'm not going to communicate with... anybody it looks like maybe you're not wanting to communicate I don't know maybe you are we're gonna get some more cards but this empress she is she has so many options she does she has so many options and maybe people are trying to communicate and you're shutting them down don't want to be duped don't want to be tricked don't want to be deceived You may be you may be about to broaden your horizons. Maybe you're thinking about accepting an offer. Maybe you're letting go of some old things that have kept you down, kept you stuck. You know, you're letting go of some old ideas, some old beliefs. You are working on opening yourself up, but you may not be quite ready yet. Looks to me like this is a week of introspection. You're trying to refine your focus, right? You're, tr you're trying to focus on your future. It's like you're planning for the future. It's a week of planning. And letting go of old things that no longer serve you because you're completing a cycle. You're completing a chapter, right? It's like you just finished up something. So, you know, I feel like you're working on your health. You're working on your self-love. You're working on your self-worth and your self-esteem. You're just, you know, there's no love in these cards. I'm not focused on love this week. I'm focused on regaining my power that has been stripped by making a wrong choice in the past. I mean, come on now. 
regaining stability that's been lost by a trickster, right? It's like somebody stole your power, they stole your energy, they were very manipulative, and it's like, I gotta take my power back, and that's gonna take me a minute, I'm gonna have to do it by myself. So, yeah, it's like, do it by myself, no doubt. I'm going within to heal. I'm regaining my my power, my spiritual self. And I feel like we have somebody here that is probably going through some sort of spiritual awakening. They're going through some sort of spiritual growth spurt, per se. And it's like, now is not the time for me to give my energy and power away to anybody else because you're ascending in some way. Yeah, I don't think you're looking for a commitment right now. I really don't. I don't think that right now you you are. I think because maybe you don't have faith in it. Maybe you don't trust anybody. Maybe you've been so deceived that you don't trust anybody right now. So you need to go within to heal. You need to you need to get this Jesus consciousness, you know, that is completely healed and ready and open to a new beginning. So, you know, I feel like right now you guys are not wanting to jump into anything I don't yeah it's like you're not re willing to play any games you're reluctant you're you just want things to be peaceful you don't you don't want to get involved I don't I don't need this right now I think you're just starting to feel relieved you know you're working on yourself I don't, I don't see any yeah, now we have this King of Wands here. Maybe this is this person wants a chance or something. Who is this person? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. He's looking over here. You know, we could have a, a fire sign that sees your worth and sees your beauty and wants to communicate but doesn't dare to because he sees that you're very powerful. Just saying. I mean, you know, I feel like we do have somebody here that is interested, but they may be a little intimidated by your power. It feels like somebody is not wanting to step outside of their comfort zone, maybe protecting themselves from getting hurt again. And, and maybe that person sees that. Maybe this person sees that you are scared. And, or maybe they see that you're stuck on something else. Maybe they see. Maybe they see that you're still holding on to somebody that cheated you. Because this person's been watching. Somebody's been watching. And perhaps they just feel like you don't, you don't have faith. Maybe they feel like you're still stuck. I feel like you guys are in the process of regaining your focus, regaining your ground, you know? And you're just releasing something that really stressed you out. You're just releasing a stressful situation. And I feel like you don't really believe or you don't have faith in starting a new relationship right now. I just don't see it. I don't. I feel like you guys have just completed a difficult cycle of manipulation. I think somebody really lied to you. They deceived you. They didn't see your worth. And, and you're just barely closing that chapter. Really. I mean, literally closing that chapter. And I feel like this is a week of reflection and reluctant. I think that you're reluctant to get into anything at all. It's like, no, I'm just regaining my ground right now. I'm letting go of my old ways. And I feel like we have somebody here that wants you to open up to them. You know, they want you to believe them. They want you to trust them. They want you to let them in. And you may be like, oh, I just can't right now. <laughs> I just can't. You know, that's what it looks like to me. I think whoever you're dealing with is very well suited for you. There's somebody that really wants to help you. This person is well suited for you. I think it's a fire sign. I think it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
that may be, you know, inviting you to go out on a date or just wanting to support you, okay? Bring you some positive energy. So I really just feel like we have somebody here that Perhaps they see your pain and they want to help you heal, whoever this person is. But I do feel like you guys have just completed a difficult chapter in your life and you're just starting to let go of the emptiness for real. Maybe you have been letting go of the emptiness for some time, but it's like it's finally over. It's over. It's over without, it's over. And now you just need time. You need time to be alone and deal with the conflict that you just released. So do I feel like new love is coming in? I think you do have a suitor. I do think that you have somebody that wants to start something with you. But I'm not sure that you... You will probably go... Over, if you do let them in... You may go really slow. You may be like, we're going to go really, 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 really baby steps slow. Um, and they might want to just take the lead, right? But you want victory and success. So I feel like we do have some sort of somebody that is coming in to, you know, <laughs> they're probably coming in quick, right? They're coming in. They they want to they wanna help you. They're come, It's like they're coming to save you. So I don't know who this is, but you could somebody could actually arrive at your door with some sort of um, gesture. You know, it's all of a sudden they're there and they're like, "Oh, I, I, uh, I'm coming to help you. I'm coming to help you deal with this pain, whatever it is, whatever the pain is. I'm coming to get you out. Let's go out. Let's go out. That kind of thing." Get out of the house. Get out. Let's, let's go do this. Whatever. It's like they're coming to pick you up. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not sure if you'll turn them down, though. I mean, you may turn them down. I'm not sure if you will. You may. You may feel like you're too stuck. You know, you may feel like you can't do this right now. You might, you might be like, you know what? I don't trust anybody. I'm not stable. I'm not secure at this time. I don't know. I don't know. So I just, I really feel like you probably have somebody that wants to come into your life. And they may, they may arrive. Okay, they may arrive. They may arrive and think that they're going to get you unstuck. And whether you allow them in or not is up to you. Um, could be a Cancer. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Virgo. Whoever this person is, they think that you are very beautiful. They think that you are kind. They think that you are giving. They think that you... you they think that you are what they want, okay? They, they, they're attracted to you. They are definitely attracted to you. And it's like they're coming to get you. You know, they're coming to pick you up. They want to get you out of this stagnant mold that you're in. That's what they think. They think they're going to come, you know, break you free of this whatever it is and you're probably going to be like huh you know I don't know I don't know if I if I have enough to offer you I don't think I can right now you may be down in the dumps okay put it that way you may be down in the dumps because you've been cheated and deceived and lied to and you're just not over it yet so anyway earth signs I I feel like you do have somebody that's interested but I feel like you may not jump the gun Okay, so that's what I got. Sorry that none of these readings are fluffy. None of my week ahead singles are fluffy. It is what it is. Good luck.